Fran so how would you like to set up a wordpress blog for free in five minutes even less than five minutes or around there anyways we're going to show you how to do that and that it's a totally free wordpress site you can get access to it you can create your own blog post your own pages you can add your plugins you can set up your theme you can do everything that wordpress allows you to do in a self-managed hosting platform so what does that mean that means that you need to manage the updates you need to manage the plugins and all this stuff but it is free and you can do it whenever you want you don't have to have a schedule you don't have to update if you don't want to it's really all up to you it's all under your control and it also takes five minutes to set up so we're going to talk about that show you where you can do that in just a minute but first this so the re real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so I bet that if you do a Google search for WordPress hosting, you're going to find thousands of results. So obviously you can go with any of those, whatever you want to do, but I'm going to show you the platform that I put together that allows you to create your own WordPress site for free we're going to show you that in just a second and let's just go and share the screen right now so you might have heard that I've created a course hosting platform where you can host your own courses this is course income secrets right episode 244 and we're talking about wordpress I know it doesn't sound like it's really related to course income and all that but the thing is that if you want to sell a course you need a place to have people come visit right you could just have a course page that's that's doable but you probably want to build an audience you want to build you know following you want to have people like and know and like and trust you right and you do that and by having a blog I mean that's one way I'm not saying it's the only way but you probably should have a blog and we're going to show you how to set one up in five minutes like I said first you go to the platform click ecourse so let me just show you the desktop click ecourse.com is where you would uh, set up your account so first of all you got to have an account on the platform before you can have a wordpress site and it's all free so all you got to do is you click on the register link right here and then you enter a, a you can continue as as your facebook account or you just enter an email i'm just going to put in here uh, cis244 at fxos.com that's like my test domain I'm just going to click on the register here so that um, that will send you an email and it's going to tell you you got to click that link to activate it if you use the Facebook continue with Facebook you won't need to do that it'll automatically activate but for now we're just going to go in my inbox we're going to go find the activation link this is from earlier so oh actually it is there okay <coughs> so this one here is uh, the test one I did this is the one here so there's going to be an email like this exactly like this one right where it's going to say you or someone to request an account you got to click on the link to activate it right so I'm going to click on the bottom one because the first one was the old account and what it does is it says successfully activated your account and logs you in all right so now you're logged in to the platform where you see the uh, the news feed and what you want to do is you want to go to the wordpress so by the way the information on wordpress is right here under the more where it talks about your wordpress blog where you can get your own wordpress blog and some information come from wordpress i mean wordpress is just something we make available to you right we didn't we don't we're not the owners of wordpress we didn't create wordpress you know i certainly didn't develop it it's just something that you can uh, so you can go to more wp log over here but once you're logged in you can also click on the big plus here and go to wp blog just click on that it takes you to the place where you would create your wordpress it says it's not activated yet my screen is going to put this as default uh, i'd recommend you go and set up your account first so if you go to your account you go to your um your about and then your profile right over here picture and basic info right so you want to go to your profile you want to set up your profile picture I'm going to put a, a picture here um let's just uh go to one of these 
doesn't really matter uh where's the this one here I think it's this one let's just use that one and I'm going to give myself a name I'm going to say uh, cis244 obviously it's going to be the cis and then the last name is going to be test account just test display name is going to be cis244 test account so I'll just do it like that and then I'll just save that so that'll give you a different username you can set that up anyways there's a whole there's other uh, episodes I did on explaining how all that works this is basically just to kind of do that so if I go back to I can also go back to blog right here I can go right here to WP blog or if I go on this page <clears throat> there's a link at the bottom here that says you can create your new site in five minutes so let's do that so I've set up the account on here uh by the I don't know why it's doing this thing but it's uh, cis244 blog by default that's what it'll look like admin then cis244 right mulex uh, that's nice that is nice all right whoops okay and then over here we'll just say cis244 and there we go so we're going to click that by the way the defaults that are showing up here should normally be the defaults based on your account the only reason that's showing me these weird defaults is because I keep doing things on my computer right but let's just uh, take the link off of there but this is whoops where's my mouse there it is okay so this is where we let's just do you know let's do a timer I'm going to start my timer here show you how long it takes to start this uh which is really ridiculous how quick it is um so timer stopwatch okay so I got my stopwatch right here I'm going to start it and I'm going to well I'm going to start it first because we did kind of create the account so we did kind of set up the account set up the profile and all that we're at three seconds five seconds I'm going to click to activate it and it's going to start activating and we're at nine seconds now so what it does is it, it sets up a whole new environment for you and your blog where you can have your own pages your own posts your own theme your own plugins everything and it's independent of anything else so there's no danger of of your and look at that there we go so 27 seconds to create the blog itself so that's really quick right so now you can access your blog or manage your blog you can also delete your blog if you want you can access your blog all you do is you click on this link it takes you to the actual blog site right now which is just hello world there's really nothing there and let's just close these other tabs and you can manage your blog by clicking on manage your blog site right here that takes you to the login page for it so um I set the user as admin I think I did hopefully um your admin login is defined in your back office you can access your back office here back to the blog so you can see that it's a click eCourse WordPress uh, uh, environment right or platform so now we have the blog so what the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your blog to be yours right so let's first go into users in you in this is a like I said it's a full WordPress environment so you can actually create users in here you can have multiple people ad, admin your blog site so you can add a user here if you want and you can call that user let's say I have um, um, my wife whatever uh, just put wife um email wife at that's the email address wife uh, my same last name website I don't need to worry about that and then I'm going to make this an, an administrator so my wife can administer the system there's no password and I'm just going to say add user now I have a wife and admin right and the admin is me so I want to edit the admin I just click on edit right here and then I want to change the admin to be me right Jean Serge well actually let's call this cis244 uh tester and it's an admin and uh, so if it's a real user you can actually use what's called gravatar to set your profile picture in wordpress that's is a that's a platform where so if I go on here gravatar lets you set so if you sign sign in right here I'm actually I have an account I'm on here right so once I'm logged in I can set different images for different emails right 
uh, that's kind of how it works you first you set up your uh, account on gravatar then you just upload an image for that particular email address right and once you have a, an image for an email address that means that any place where you use that email say if I put here that email right I'll just save that now you're going to see uh, maybe not oh, oh email I it didn't save it oh if you change this email, oh sorry yeah that's because I registered this yeah but let's go and create another user add a new user I'm going to create myself here uh jean at gmail.com the first name is of course jean Serge, last name Gagnon and I'm not going to worry about the website I'm going to make myself an editor and now I have see it's it has my profile right there because that email is tied to gravatar so that's kind of how you get your profile picture in uh wordpress okay so the other thing I can do here if I go back to the admin here um, I'm gonna, just going to change the uh, nickname the display name to test cis 244 and uh, let's cancel the email address right here and did I change no I could have changed that okay let's update profile okay so the other thing you can do too as you can see there's colors here right I can go to, to this I save that and now I've got uh, different colors right or I can do ocean coffee ectoplasma midnight sunrise whatever right as you can see the colors change around the screen uh I'm not going to generate a password update profile okay so now if I go to the dashboard you can see an overview of what is on your on your blog right but now what we can do is we're going to go to posts we can create we can edit this post let's say uh let's just edit this say hello uh, so my first post so so I'm going to change this this is this is my first post what what do you think right so now if I save this I update this so now it's going to be uh my first post and if I go to the access your blog right back on here now it says my first post instead of whatever it said before uh, hello world right so that's it now if I add another post I'm going to just call this one my second post my second post and I'm just going to go for what's going on there oh that's just a clock I'm looking at my phone there's there's a timer going I'm just wondering what that is okay so my second post isn't whoops isn't much better better right okay I'm just going to publish that like this now if I go back to my uh list here you can see I have two posts and if I reload the page where I had the my post right here I can reload this now I have two posts on the on the blog right and by the way this is just one of the themes so if I go for example in my here and I go under appearance themes right there right I can go in here and I can change the theme and add new themes I can change it to say this one just activate this one and now if I go back here and I reload the page you'll see it's a different I've got a different view to it I can go here and I can say um, 2019 is the one that's active I can activate 17 and I can reload this so now those are the three themes that come installed on the on the platform it doesn't mean you have to use these because you can go here and you can say add new right there and then over here you can go into the feature the popular the latest or favorites if I go to popular you know it just kind of goes by the number of people using them and I can install any of these themes I can just go on one of them I can say install right and install this other one now installing the theme doesn't mean that they get used it just means they're available for you to use and what you can do with themes once they're installed is you can actually preview them without activating them so if I go back to my uh, theme again right here now I've got these other themes that are installed as you can see they're they're there in the list now right so once I've I can I can activate it I can just click on activate right here right and then when I go back and I reload now it's got this new theme that's set up right whatever that theme was 
but you can also do a manage with live preview what that means is that let's say I want to see what this one looks like without actually activating because you know once you activate it it's live anybody who's on the internet who's accessing your blog they see that new theme right away right so you might want to just kind of look at what it looks like first right so you click on live preview right here and it kind of shows you the view of what the theme would look like with with that theme as you can see this theme is pretty bland right um and I can go back and try um the, the changes that's fine I don't, I don't want to activate it I can go back here let's say I want a live preview of this one you can see it's got a picture and it shows me like my second post my first post with no no images here because that I don't have what called um what what do they call them um the image anyways the image of the post let's uh, go to try um this one this one here what does this one look like 2014 it just looks like black menu on the side uh and then uh there's a sample page up here I can click it's and that's the other thing you can kind of click around on these different things and kind of shows you what the page post looks like right it shows you what the actual home looks like if you click on the home and you can do lots of other things site identity right I can change this to my blog site right if I do that now all of a sudden it says my blog site up there right and my best ideas are here right so now you see my best ideas are here right so the to the tagline they call it uh what else can I change I can change the menus uh let's say I want to change the menu top primary menu I don't have any I don't have any menu so create a new menu I'm going to call it main and uh, whoops main menu right okay so next what do I want to have in there I'm going to add items I want to put my post number one and my post number two and then I'm just going to say and now what happens is whoops let's go back here so now you can see that I have these up here right my second post my first one that's because this theme has those menus there now if I if I go back uh, I can actually go back here I'm going to change oh that's still menus I can change instead of previewing 2014 I can change it to another one let's say I want to preview this one so my menu is, is saved now now the menu that I created is not is not used by this theme so if I go to menus all locations I want to make this the theme right there so now I see no this one now it has it here right my my second and my first uh, social links I don't have any social links but if I uh, select it because it's the same menu uh, I don't know where that is where are the social links I'm not sure where they go but they I guess it would show the same items I guess maybe it's these ones I'm not sure uh but th that's the thing each theme is different so if we go back to the themes um you can then like I said you can add other themes thank you for installing I'll, you're going to get these messages whenever you install themes and stuff because they're trying to sell you stuff right because these all these themes all these um plugins and everything else if I go to plugins I, there's a whole bunch of plugins that you can install to do all sorts of different things all those things are made by developers they 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 want they want to make money right so they build these free parts and then they have these add-ons you can buy for them right um that's not, I don't get anything out of that so I'm not I'm not going to try to I'm not trying to tell you to go get those but just kind of how it works right so what else in the settings you probably want to go to permalinks and you probably want to set your url to this the post name because for seo it's a lot better if the link up top instead of being like see this one here says my second post it says p equals six right that has no value to seo to google searches or anything now if i save that <coughs> and then i go back to the the main page now these links there's the same thing they there's no change to the what it looks like but when i click on it you can see that my link now is called my second post it's not p equals some number right and that's good for seo for searches for search engine optimization so you want to do that all right what else what else do we want to do now there's all sorts of other things in here there's 
uh, media and discussion and reading and writing there's a bunch of tools you can have you can import data and export oh, sorry <laughs> you can import and export you can import from a I don't know I've never tried this but in in tumblr let's install the tumblr import I've never tried that I have a tumblr blog uh, run importer is that going to make me want a file secret key can oh okay so I got to go to my tumblr and I got to set up this OAuth key and the secret key thing and then I can click on connect and and then the, and then after that I can import that would be kind of cool but I mean I don't need to do that uh, what else uh, under plugins under plugins you're going to see there's a few installed plugins one of the ones is the clicky course wordpress login you want to leave that active because it's every time you log in you can see that your Click eCourse link and all that you can disable it but I mean it'll it'll re-enable itself every time you um, um, every time we update the site and stuff so but uh, it doesn't do anything other than like I said display a logo on the login page and some text uh what else so now if I want to add a plugin I just click on add new right here and let's say I want to like, like you see there's there's these if I go to popular right these are the plugins there's like literally there's thousands of plugins I can search for um something in particular let's say I search for a uh, pop-up right now I can see the pop-up plugins the different pop-up plugins that exist on for wordpress right there's a bunch of them as, as you can see there's well actually maybe you can't see that let's move that over here as you can see there's it says one of 86 pages right so if I go to the next page there's some more plugins right here that's like insane how many there are right you just plug in plug in plug in plug in there's a ton of them how do you know which one is good well you look at the uh, number of uh, stars and the number of installations so if you've got you know say maybe over a thousand installs you're probably safe the more installs there are the better because that means there's more people that have used it um so this is YouTube is this actually done by YouTube 8,000 installs by WP Devon no it's not by YouTube but so so yeah so you want to check the the number of uh users the number of active installations and you want to also check the the number of reviews right the more reviews and the more users there are the better it is that's kind of one of the things you want to make sure of you got to get the right uh, the the a plugin that's you know that's used that's that doesn't have because this is one of the things you have to realize WordPress is a completely open platform so people develop things for WordPress they develop plugins they create uh, themes and when you install a theme or install a plugin on your WordPress site you're basically letting that developers code on your site which could be mischievous right it could do things you don't want it to do I it's I mean I I know I'm a programmer I know what can be done right so I know you can do things so you got to have something that's trusted that's why you want to look at the ones that have lots of installations and you want to make sure that they have lots of reviews good reviews and like I mean if I look at the this one has two reviews and it's got only 700 installs and the two reviews don't look that great right there's only three stars to it um so you want to be careful of that right this one has only four reviews I'm not saying I'm not saying they're bad I'm just saying you don't really know unless you know the person who created it and you trust them go with the higher numbers right just go with the higher numbers if I click on the popular that's kind of what it'll give you it'll give you the ones that are have the highest number of installs the highest number of comments right five million installations it's like insane how many there are right are these ones one million you know and that's the thing so you want to install these so all you got to do is you got to go and really simple SSL I don't know what that is but let's install it see what that is no setup you only need an SSL certificate and this plugin will do the rest I'm not sure what that means uh, let's click on more details that tells me more about it uh might be dicks your settings configures your website to run over HTTPS to keep lightweight entire site will move get an SSL certificate you can see different places activate this plugin enable SSL so by the way there is that is one thing right so first of all you already have SSL on um on Click eCourse um 
WordPress as you can see it says HTTPS but if you want to activate your own domain if you want to if you want to have your own domain for your blog site that's not free it's not part of the free plan you can upgrade your plan right here and you can go to have to the beginner plan which is the cheap you know it's only it's only it's over here right so it's in the beginner plan which is ten dollars a month over here you can see ten dollars a month or save two months pay the yearly amount you will see that you can do your own domain for your blog so all you got to do is you got to select it down here and then it'll go to the uh, paypal option you can either pay ten dollars a month or pay a hundred dollars a year so you click on this and it just basically opens up paypal and it asks for your payment of that amount right whether it's uh I can log in if I have paypal or you just you can even click on pay with credit or visa you don't actually have to have a paypal account you can pay with your credit card that's just like that and then and then it'll activate your your account upgrade your account so that you can um, um and you can say no thanks here to uh, confirm I agree to paypal's privacy still then you put in your name and address your card number and all that stuff and then you'll be able to activate your account what will happen there is that once I'll just cancel and go back here what happens there is that um once your account is upgraded if I go back to the wordpress right and actually I'm going to go over here to my other site and I'm going to go to oops right over here there you go uh, I gotta log in on my site here I just want to activate this account so th this account here is a test account so I'm just going to go into here and I'm going to go to the next so this account here I'm going to make this a beginner plan and by the way whenever whenever that's done and uh, you can see there's a notification that's going to say that a plan has been upgraded if I reload this page now we're going to see that it says that you can set your blog change your blog address right so all you got to do here is you got to set your own domain and we'll say this is going to be um jsgagnon.com so obviously you can't just do that it won't just work there's a there's a bunch of other things that you have to do you have to have um you have to have js you have to have a dns you have to have the domain name mapped you have to have there's all sorts of different things but if you understand what I'm talking about all you need to do is you need to go in your dns provider and you get a c name pointing to clickycourse.com or blog.clickycourse.com and uh, I probably should you know kind of have some sort of documentation here uh, the assumption is that the person who's doing this understands this and if you don't you can always find somebody who does or you can ask me and I certainly can help you you can send me a message or you can create a support ticket look at that look like this you just go here and then you click on support and then you enter something here you would say I'm uh, trying to use to set up w wordpress yeah, domain so I just upgraded upgraded my account to set my to set my own domain but I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do right so you can do that you submit a ticket then what's going to happen is I'm going to get the ticket um you're going to see notification here I can clear the notifications if I get the ticket I'm actually going to go over here I got the ticket and I'm going to add a comment and what's going to happen is you're going to get uh, an email and everything so let's just say uh okay what domain you're not seeing me do that but like you'll see in a second do do you want to use so that would be for example I would add that to there and now over here you're going to see there's a notification added comment to ticket 11 so this ticket now has 
okay what domain do you want to use I'm going to add a comment uh, my domain is jsgagnol.com jsgagnol.com okay now I get the notification on my side uh, and I'm just gonna add a comment again okay first you will need to add a C name to your DNS server providers <coughs> list point it to blog there you go so now I added the comment <laughs> by the way I don't have to be uh you see that it shows up automatically number th I got this I don't know what I got to fix that on the sign that's not right <coughs> but now you can see there's another comment I say first you got to do this now if I have no idea what that is uh, we back and forth right and it's uh it's free support but it might not be instantaneous as it is right here when I'm while I'm doing this episode and uh but but that's how you set up your wordpress in less than five minutes you saw it only took like 30 seconds to actually set up the blog afterwards of course you got to do other things and you gotta you know you gotta understand how the plugins work you gotta do um uh your your theme you gotta figure out how to do that you got there's lots of things to learn but you can actually google you know how to add a plugin to wordpress whoops word press right if you do that you're going to find a whole bunch of people talking about how to do things how to add a plugin to wordpress it doesn't really matter what where you go because it's all going to be the same thing what are your wordpress plugins anyway install a plugin they see they show you the they show you the page that's exactly the same page how to do that you just click on these things go around and look at it right so that's the thing so that's that's the cool thing about using a platform that is an open source platform that everybody can teach you how to use you manage yourself but the basics the basics is all set up afterwards you just start adding posts and adding posts and adding posts and that's it all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions don't forget reach out uh, send me an email or go in the clicky course site and create a support request and we'll have a conversation there have yourself a great day see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.